Hey guys, Tejas Savant here. People know me as Right to Ace, and I have been an esports athlete for more than ten years. I started my journey playing Counter Strike 1.6 in the local gaming cafes, and that's how uh, my passion towards gaming uh, started. Uh, in 2012, when CS:GO was launched, I took the step to take it more seriously and follow my passion, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, as time passed away, I think it was 2020 when I started losing some motivation playing CS:GO. It has given me a lot of opportunities. I have uh, represented India in multiple occasions. Uh, I'm very proud of it. But it took a uh, toll on my mental, and then I took a break from gaming. And during lockdown, there was a new game called Valorant. The next step in my career, and I started playing Valorant past. Two and a half years, and I think it has been an amazing journey. Played under Velocity Gaming for I think two and a half years, and coming to 2023, the VCL SA, I was part of Revenant Esports for like six months. So after VCL 2023, I took a small break, but I was competing in Valorant. But Valve announced Counter Strike Go is gonna end, and they're gonna launch Counter Strike Two, which made me realize this might be a good chance to go back to my roots. Uh, but I was pretty skeptical, and also. Was scared about taking this leap of faith, you know, going back to CS. Uh, but you know, I love challenges. I like the adventure. I'm passionate about competing. I've been competing my whole life, and here I am competing in CS2 right now. So after coming back in CS2, I've been grinding the game a lot. I have been streaming it 24/7, uh, and quite frankly, I'm just enjoying the game. Coming back to technical part of the game, I think CS2 has introduced a feature which I've been using. For quite some time, and it has improved my gameplay drastically. So I have been using NVIDIA Reflex powered by my new GeForce RTX 4070 WinForce OC sent by the lovely folks at Aorus India and Gigabyte. NVIDIA Reflex is the revolutionary low latency esports technology, which helps you with measuring and also reducing the system latency. Basically, it makes your game smooth and much smoother. So what is latency? Latency is basically the time taken. For a data to travel from one point of action to the point of result. After using this feature, it's going to help you enhance your aiming capabilities, especially uh, precision and responsiveness. And of course, it will make you an overall better player. So when you're using NVIDIA Reflex, basically the workload while gaming is synced between your CPU and your GPU, so you don't have like unusual spikes and you get the lowest latency possible. Also, the NVIDIA Reflex will account for your whole system latency. Uh, that is your mouse click to the data displayed on your monitor, uh, and eliminate all the extra garbage or the kachra which comes in between, and give you the lowest latency possible and the smoothest gameplay. So now I will show you guys how to use NVIDIA Reflex. And before that, I would suggest you go on NVIDIA's website or download GeForce Experience and update your NVIDIA drivers. So we go in the video settings of CS2. You open the Advanced Video tab. And you go in the lowest bottom option, which is NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, and keep it enabled. Or uh, there is one more option called Enable Plus Boost, which will basically make the most out of your GPU at cost of certain frames. But I personally use Enable. So let's now head into the game. Let's play some deathmatch and check out NVIDIA Reflex in action. Uh, we'll see the difference between disabled and enabled. So right now I'm gonna play on disabled, and I will show you how it works, and then I will go and enable and see. We'll see what difference we are getting. I do have a high-end PC though, and thank you, Oris India, for also sending the RTX 4070. You can see my frames are like 400 plus uh, averaging, and the latency is around. Uh, 7.7.78 around 8 ms at 8 to 9 uh, the system latency and yeah when your frames are like this high uh, the the difference is minimal but yeah you you do get a difference overall and yeah nvidia reflex will help you uh, in certain scenarios okay i'll switch on to enable and show you some differences It's averaging around the same. Uh, we'll see uh, as the game goes on. It might go like somewhere around seven or six m uh, ms. It's like seven point four right now, seven point three. But yeah, higher the frames, uh, 
lower is your system latency also and I think that's Nvidia's motto uh, frames wins games and I, I do like to inspect my weapon which is a bad habit which I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, it's 6.9 but I do keep moving around according to the FPS you are getting but yeah I prefer it on enabled uh, you can try enabled but uh, plus boost also uh, it will uh, at the cost of some frames you will get a uh, lower uh, latency but yeah uh, that's about it guys for the Nvidia Reflex so guys don't forget to optimize your gaming experience by turning on Nvidia Reflex and I hope you find the differences which I uh, experienced while playing uh, with using it. And I hope it levels your gameplay. Right to us out. Until next time. Bye.